don't want a live demonstration B without showing off their evasive abilities. Scientist, how can I sell creatures that attack each other and then get buried alive? <sighs> Boulder, stop! But Optimus, he's in there! We can't pull him out. We're not rescue bots now, remember? But he saved Chase! By pretending to attack me. We must follow his lead and keep up the illusion that we are ferocious animals. <laughs> Fine by me. <laughs> Heat wave! Fight back. We'll work our way over to Optimus. Excellent strategy, and challenge accepted. I want in on this. My profits! My pro... My profits! Go! Go! Fight! Fight! You heard the man. Let's finish this. Then I suggest we end this charade and finish him! Bitters. Well done, rescue bots. And thank you. Now let's show Quarry what we do at our day jobs. Ambertrode, stop those beautiful beasts before they tear each other apart. <laughs> Magnificent! Load everything up, boys, and take them to the dock. <laughs> Once they're shipped off, I'll talk to Doc Green and reevaluate the terms of his release. We did it! Nice work, Prof. Anna. Now let's get off this wretched island and get back home. Could be Quarry. This way. These goggles are a bit primitive, but I'm reading two heat signatures inside this shed. It must be Frankie and Anna. <gasps> Dad, you're here! Not now, Frankie. I have to deactivate this security system to rescue Frankie and... Oh, you're here too. <laughs> How did you two escape? Because we're awesome and exponentially awesomer when we work together. Noble! Now let's go tell... I mean, find the dinos. This is bad. It appears the larger drone has trapped the dinos in some kind of stasis field. Can one of you pilot the helicopter bot? We could knock that drone out easily from the air. Um, the helicopter bot can't fly. I don't understand. What good is a flying robot that can't fly? No, I mean, it can. He just needs some repairs. No. She's right. I should be doing what I meant to do. I'm going. What on earth? He's sentient? Mm, come on. Come on. Fly! Another warm day in the dead of winter. Hmm. Really thins my fluids. Hello, bird of the air. Getting some sun too, I see. Ah! Someone's unleashed a weather machine! Snow! After a week of clear skies. Cody, see if Doc Green's been tinkering again. And I'll alert the chief in case Dr. Morocco has returned No, with... no, wait! <laughs> That's not from a weather machine. Mr. Hooten's just decorating for the holiday. 
This isn't Christmas. But next week is midwinter morning. How many holidays do you humans have? This one's special. It's just for Griffin Rock. It all started back when... Rescue bots. A stack of logs just rolled onto a car. Someone's trapped inside. Stop! We have to remove the logs in the right order, or they could shift too much weight onto the car. Just remain calm, Mrs. Niederlander. And uh, you too, Mr. Pettipaws. Danny, any way to speed this up? Not safely. Oh, I'm about to toss my waffles as it is. Toss your... Oh, your breakfast. <sighs> Want to tell me why there's a stack of logs downtown? Bonfire for midwinter morning. I don't know why we bother. Hardly anyone shows up for it anymore. Doesn't a bonfire leave a big mess? Yep. Guess who cleans that up? <laughs> you are safe now. Can I drive you reckless robots? You tore the door off. Now hold on. Man, we there. took great care of A little thank you. Please, Please don't be upset. Uh, let me handle this. Mrs. Niederlander, now our objective was to free you from the vehicle. Sometimes when we do that. This wouldn't have happened if that log pile wasn't such a hazard. Why even have a bonfire if nobody comes? We come. All right. How about if I give you and Mr. Pettipaws a lift home? Fine. Take me to my cabin. The one on the mountain? That's where I stay every year during this holiday charade. Well, after you. The last time I transported Mr. Pettipaws, he left me an odorous little parting gift. I remember. I had to drive with your windows down for a week. Young man, use that noisy tractor of yours to tow my car. I'm noisy? Uh, yes, ma'am. You're welcome! Maybe that old grump should call someone else next time. And she can get her own cat out of the tree, too. A shame she has to be so ungrateful. Wonder why she doesn't like this holiday. Yeah, what could she have against getting presents? By the way, what'd you guys get me? Like I tell you. And like I'd remember, I clicked, I bought, it'll be here on the ferry. Were we supposed to buy presents? That's the way it works. I need a few things, so I'll give you a list. Presents cost money, right? Where do we get money? <sighs> Someone want to explain what this midwinter fuss is all about? Twas a winter storm like no other. The great nor'easter of 1713. Snow and ice had buried Griffin Rock, trapping the island's residents in their homes. Supply ships couldn't make the voyage, and when food ran out, people had no way of getting more. And then, one snowy night, a mysterious visitor slipped unnoticed into every home and left bread in the empty pantries. No one ever discovered who this benefactor was. 
So thereafter, he became known as the Rider of Midwinter. Clearly, this rider kept his identity a secret for fear of being arrested as a trespasser. So people give presents now as a way of honoring the mysterious rider who saved the town? Right. And the cool part is, everyone still finds bread on their doorstep every midwinter morning. A 300-year-old rider? I'm sorry, but I would not eat that bread. <laughs> no, Blades. It's someone else carrying on the tradition. But nobody knows who. So, what's a bonfire have to do with any of this? After the blizzard, everyone gathered in town and lit a fire to keep warm. It just grew from that. Ugh. Hate to break it to you, Chase, but that air freshener? So not cutting it. Curse you, Mr. Pettipaws. Everyone, everyone to the garage, garage please. please. Winter storm. As if this holiday doesn't keep us busy enough. Well, at least the town won't need to decorate with fake snow. Isn't this just wonderful? Snow on the road seriously complicates the rescues. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Me too. I hope it snows all week. It's been snowing all week. Conditions are so bad that nobody has even been out gift shopping. And for those of us who ordered online, the ferry carrying our packages has not arrived which means neither has the gourmet hot chocolate maker I bought for myself. I want my cocoa. vehicle sure can be frustrating. I too feel revved up with nowhere to go. Don't worry, Blades and Heatwave will get it done. Packages was lost. Ah, understood. Hopefully, the rest of the town takes the news better than that. This is catastrophic! No presents on midwinter morning? Oh, the humanity! My gifts were on that ferry! Somebody bought gifts locally. Sorry, Danny. We ordered them online like most people. Maybe we could still go buy some gifts downtown. Except that stores have been closed since the snow started. No one should be out in this weather anyway. It is nearly impossible to drive responsibly in these conditions. Try flying. I have no feeling in my tail rotor. Ugh, face it. This holiday's an even bigger bust than usual. Are you upset because your gifts were lost at sea, Cody? A little. I ordered some pretty neat presents for my family, and for you guys, too. But mostly, I'm sad we won't be getting the bread tomorrow. Whoever the rider of Midwinter is, he won't be able to make deliveries in this snow. 
why not just consume the bread from your own kitchen? It's not really about the bread. But you just said... It's about the tradition. Being with family, finding bread on your doorstep. It all just gives you a warm feeling inside. Right. Because the bread is hot. Um, no. He means, like, internal combustion. Maybe I'm not being clear. I get it. The bread reminds everyone why they celebrate in the first place. Surviving the storm and being grateful for it. Exactly. Except nobody in town probably even cares anymore. They just want presents. Griffin Rock Emergency. Uh, Mrs. Niederlander. You need us all up at your cabin. Oh, Lander! What exactly is the emergency? Hello? Mrs. Niederlander? Hello? I lost the connection. Ah, we better get up there. You can't be serious. Hello, she's on the mountain. Can we wait until spring? I just hope Mr. Pettipaws does well, not need a ride. I give her another reason to complain about us. she just showed a little appreciation. But what if she really does need us? Cody's right. This is the job we all signed on for. <sighs> Agreed. How do we get up there? The mountain roads are iced over. And the upslope winds are too severe for flying. Boulder might be able to make it. She said she needed all of us. I have an idea. Good thinking, Cody. The MHQ is heavy enough, I shouldn't be a problem. Dad, phones are still out. I hope Mrs. Niederlander is all right. Just don't be disappointed with her when this turns out to be nothing. I don't think she'd bring us all up there unless it was important. One would hope. Avalanche, hang on! Everyone okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Affirmative. Uh, yeah. Yes. Relative to what? Though I do suggest we proceed on foot from here. Agreed. <laughs> Mrs. Niederlander, what Get in here before you let all the heat out. She looks fine to me. Hmm. No cats and trees either. Let's try to listen in. I am rather conflicted about eavesdropping. Think of it as covert surveillance. That works. Now, if you could tell us what the emergency is, Mrs. I need someone to deliver my midwinter morning packages. I. We all just. You. Hmm. You brought us all the way up here during the worst nor'easter in 300 years? So we can run your errands? It's the least you can do after your robots wrecked my car. <gasps> okay, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Mrs. Niederlander, what makes the delivery of these packages an emergency? They're important to the whole community. I hardly think... Dad, she's right. They are important. Mrs. Niederlander is the rider of Midwinter. <gasps> How old are you? I'm not the original, you knucklehead. Before me, it was old man Delgado. Before him, Mrs. Crabtree. But why do you do it? This holiday began because of one selfless act of kindness. Every year it gets a little harder for people to remember that. I do it so they won't forget. That's a very good reason. And for the last 49 years, I've never missed a midwinter morning. And you're not gonna miss this one either. Not if we can help it. Well, we'll have to move fast. It'll be morning in a few hours. We need some big bags. Have any sheets we can use? Plenty. Now enough chit-chat. Let's move it, people. 
Wow. Who knew cranky Mrs. Niederlander had a heart of gold? Not me. <clears throat> I, I must be coming down with something. Me too. <laughs> Even though we don't get sick. Okay, robots. Looks like we have deliveries to make. Riders of Midwinter, roll to the rescue! Aha! If you could open your heart and see what's inside, you'd find a magical place with all kinds of treasure you don't want to hide. It knows what a gesture can bring. Like the warmth of a fire And you'll know what it all means It just gets brighter and brighter The light in their eyes like the fire You know the reason is not just the season There's something much more like the fire Looks like we barely made it. It also looks like Mrs. Niederlander miscounted. There's one left. She counted right. That one's ours. Wow. I guess I wasn't expecting anything. That makes it kind of nice. I imagine that's just how everyone felt on the first midwinter morning. Oh, oh nice. That belongs to all of Didn't us, I you teach know. You any manners? You slobbered on it. What? I'm hungry. Not able to consume bread, I feel as if we're missing something. Maybe if we sniff it? It's not about the bread. No, it's about the internal combustion. Right, Cody? Bringing us closer and closer to what we're here for. Like the fire, you know the reason is not just the season. There's something much more like the Chocolate? Made it myself. Happy midwinter morning, Mr. Prescott. Oh, same to you, Danny. That's the thought that counts. Mm. Despite expectations, the bonfire has gathered a surprisingly large number of citizens. And everyone looks pretty happy. Especially for people whose presents are on the bottom of the ocean. Boy, that must be some bread. Yeah, it is. Okay, I know this'll come as a shock, but I never liked this holiday. Oh, really? Shocking. And you've hidden it so Thank well. Thank you for cluing us in. No, 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 it's true. I have to admit, though, it was kind of fun saving it. Kids, Mrs. Niederlander has asked to speak with us. 
Thank you, Charlie. Because of you and your trusty robots, we have the holiday I've been longing for. People woke up this morning and held that bread in their hands and remembered why we celebrate. But now I've come to realize my days as the writer are behind me. Don't say that. Nope. It's time to pass the bread. Therefore, I would like to ask, would you all consider being the new writers of Midwinter? This is Niederlander. My family and I would be honored. Hey, I can be in charge of baking the bread. 